Well, 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 hello everybody and welcome to Liminal Gallery 2. So, at some point I've played the first one, I do remember playing it. Uh, this could have been a whole uh, live stream. I don't remember when I played it, to be completely honest with you, but I did. And I'm pretty sure I played it on the channel at some point. And if I didn't, then it was a scribe video, but I know I played it. I just don't know where it is. It, it It's either deleted, or it's, you know, on the channel somewhere. And I didn't want to replay it, because I didn't know for sure. So, we're going to play some Little Gallery 2, which was, uh... I don't know anything about this one. But apparently it was made for the librarian. Librarian? And I do like the librarian. A lot of my videos are inspired from his type of content, so, uh, yeah. Uh, there's a melon here. There's, there's quite a bit, actually. This is kind of a cool painting. Um, they're not breaking. What if I do this? There we go. The last melon. Oh, this is the last melon. What if I just destroy them all? I gotta say, I love starting off maps by running around and just destroying things. But, uh, this is actually a really cool painting, I must say. I don't know if this is gonna be like a museum. I don't really remember too much from the first one, but I think it was kind of museum-based for some of it. And here we got... Honestly, I don't know what that is. Um... I, I'm scared of that thing, whatever that is. It could be some librarian reference, I don't know. I haven't watched all of his videos. Specifically because I want to play some of these maps for my own before I watch them. So, that could be a reference. I don't know. I don't know if everything is related to the librarian. But, uh, yeah. We jump at these paintings like it's Mario. Because I remember... Was this in liminal spaces where you jump through the painting? Or was this a whole different map? I don't remember. But, uh, we got this. Very creepy. It looks kind of like it's AI generated almost. But I don't know. This is cool looking. Actually, I must say. It looks like it's raining inside almost. But these kind of look like windows. I don't know. And then here we got one more. I feel like something's going to walk up behind me. This, this is definitely a liminal picture if I've ever seen one. That looks like it's some kind of door, but it's not, like that looks like a hinge. I don't know, but these lights are freaking bright. I'm sorry for all the people watching this at night, and you just get blinded. But, interesting. And there's the melon picture, so I guess we just go through here. I don't know if there's going to be any spooks or anything. Spooky stuff. But I do gotta say... Oh, uh, okay. I do like these plants, but I wasn't expecting this. I was The reason why I was gonna say, like... that's The reason I looked up is because I was like... What kind of lighting do these plants have? It's a little glitchy, but that's just the windows and source. I was gonna say, what kind of lighting do they have? So I looked up, and then... That's... Yeah. And I did see that, I just didn't notice that there's a whole mirror up there. Okay, these are a little bit creepier. That's really cool looking, actually. That looks like some kind of doorway that goes down, or some kind of crawl space. I don't know how deep the water is, but that is kind of cool. I, these might be AI generated, but I don't know for sure. 
This looks like it's going to trigger someone's tripophobia, which I don't think is a real thing. I think that people just get itchy looking at gross stuff like that, which I do. And this, uh, these little things here kind of remind me of something from Half-Life 2, the, uh, I forgot the name of them. But, uh, they're one of the enemies. But they're like shadow figures in this. You know what? This reminds me of, uh, th these little branches above there. You know what that reminds me of is, uh, what the hell is that one map? It was just a bunch of liminal rooms. There's so many, like, maps that are like that, but there's a specific one that I really loved that had, like, one of my, it was one of my favorite maps of all time. Uh, it had, like, stuff like that, like, the trees and the branches went over. If anybody remembers, let me know. Um, it was, like... I don't even know if it had limit on the title, but it was kind of a forest that reminds me of this. And it had like branches that went over top of you. But it was a map that I've played. And here we got this. That door opened a bit slow, but okay. These warehouses are creepy. We got some flickering lights. Some, uh... Blueprint-looking related things. And do not trust your security through obscurity. Our only hope. Hmm. I see. Where's the mirror when you need it, huh? The one time that there's not a mirror to jump scare me? See, that'd be creepy if we saw something there now that we're on this side of the glass. I would like one of these items. We got soul. We got soul. And, uh, Ronola Bar. I tried saying granola funny, but I just couldn't find a way of saying it. Unnecessary violence. I'm gonna go down this one. Make this even scarier than it needs to be. I just felt like something would trigger through that just because it was a flickering light. But, nope. I feel like I'm missing everything. Ooh. This reminds me of the back rooms, like these little suits here. When they go into the back rooms and they put those suits on. Maybe we can see something through that. I remember the, uh... It reminds me of back in, when I was a freshman in high school and I had EE. Um, we'd all be sitting down. There's not a lot of benches, but we'd all be sitting down getting changed for whatever. It was either before PE or after PE. Uh, it, I mean, it was both, but uh, people would throw stuff across the lockers. Just causing major damage to whoever, without any care in the world. Like, people would throw shoes around from lockers that they got into. Um, you just never left anything in your lockers because people would, like, break into them. They'd bend them open and then, like, steal stuff. Uh, they just broke into them. People knew how to do that. And then they would, like, either steal stuff or they would use it as a projectile to throw across the room and hit somebody. And I've been hit with a shoe like twice there, and then, you know, soccer ball and whatnot. It, it's kind of funny, actually. But this is cool. When you put melon into water, it becomes a watermelon. Oopsies.
Okay. Um. What was the point of this room? Was there more rooms? I mean, obviously there was. I feel like I'm missing something, though, man. Okay, yeah, we got here. This kind of reminds me of strange concrete. It's just this... Hallway. Okay, that's locked. That's a little creepy, but okay. This is kind of cool. This does remind me of the back rooms, almost like the... I don't... I, honestly, what is this thing? I think this is the same thing we saw last time. It's like an SCP. What if it made the, uh... The SCP meme scream. Where it screams when I press one of those buttons. I pressed E on a lot of it, nothing happened. Okay. There's gotta be more to this place. Than... This, right? Going its own way. Where do you want to take me? Just kidding, I don't care. What's up there? I need to know. Kind of reminds me like, of like, somebody who might have been living in here. Oh, there's another hidden melon. I feel like that probably activates something. Throwing all these melons. Oh no. That thing is gone. That thing that was locked up. I am that thing now. That is what I have become. I don't know what that thing is, but that is a little creepy. I feel like it's gonna fly at me. Okay, here we go. But what was down here? Okay, I see. These melons are like people, and this one is like, why are you killing? And then I say, I literally don't care, and I also don't like these statues are kind of creepy. I feel like I'm being judged by this melon, but not not for long. I'm about to freaking smash this thing to pieces. Yeah, how do you like that? Did the, was there even a door at the end of this hallway now that I think about it? I don't know. Broke the doors. I'm just being goofy. Now I am the melon boss. Matter of fact. Do you have a secret button down here? This is nice. Wait, where did those melon pieces go? Did I? Okay. Okay, we're gonna go down here now. I like this. I like this. This is actually really cool. I love this about liminal maps when they do stuff like this where it just feels like there's nothing past this it's kind of like your own world in a way you know like when you have a yard and stuff like that it's understandable you know just be the same walls every day these plants are Dying, because they're not getting any light. I'm gonna keep that door open. I, I feel like I have to close it. I feel like this has just been like a straight line, and I'm not gonna get lost. I don't want to go down there quite yet. You know, I'm gonna be honest with you. If I had a bed that was 
in a room this empty, it'd make me feel creeped out. And I'd probably have sleep paralysis every night. That door will probably open later, but I guess let's go down here now. Okay, well, now we don't have a choice. It's like the world's black is black. Oh. It's the plot twist. What led us... led me to insanity. I think this might be a reference to the librarian. I think that that was a thing that he noted about how many melons there was. Wait, I can make a face. There's the eyes. Okay. Sounds of the... Oh, it's gone. Sounds of the floor were kind of driving me crazy. I almost expected this to be like a whole different room. There we go. Okay, that's creepy. I don't know what to be more scared of. That's cool though. Honestly. Oh no. Is this gonna be like Cry of Fear? It's gonna be like Cry of Fear where her face is gonna show up. I just think of that when I'm in dark areas. But these are really cool. I think they're they might be AI generated, but they're super cool. These are very cool. This one so far is my favorite actually. I like the colors. But it also looks like she has like she's either holding a stick or she has really weird legs and she has three of them but she does have weird legs so i can't tell which way she's looking either looking that way or up i'd be looking up that's pretty i love the colors even if it is ai generated oh no there it is This music copyrighted? If so, how copyrighted? I'm hoping that wasn't. If so, that part will be muted. Non elucidine space ahead. What is that picture? That's so distracting. This map is a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. We got some creepy, spooky noises. We got a watermelon in the water. This is very weird. Just the contrast of the concrete and then the roof that looks like it's... Okay. So it looks like we're in a loop of some sort. I think we might have been here before. Oh no, it's that thing. It's here. Oh, this is nice.
Okay. I don't know if we're in a loop or what. Get me out of here. Still here. Whatever that thing is. Is that literally just this whole room right here? Like, it's just a loop? I don't even know when it does loop. That's actually the most interesting part of it. Like, does it loop? When does it loop? Do I just keep going? What? Like, what? Also, I just want to look up here. Okay, obviously we end up here later, so we're not... I just, I just wanted to see up there, sorry. Obviously we end up there later, though. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's creepy. Very creepy and spooky. I feel like that's gonna unlock something, but I don't know. So depressing. This feels like a part of a dream, actually, though. But it's also kind of cool how, like, a ceiling thing fell off. I wonder if we end up there later. I'm gonna no clip around when I'm done, obviously, but... I wanna know what's on the other side of that door. I feel like this is like some kind of testing thing where they like, this is all they gave children was a bed and like a swing set and then this fake room. That's depressing. <laughs> then we got this, which is just really bright lights. Okay, this is so cool. But really creepy. I love this. Why what why is all their furniture outside though? Some of it kinda glitches. I don't know if that's even intentional or not. I feel like it almost is in a weird way. Something happened. Something changed. I saw that melon disappear. I, I saw a little jump. This looks like a cow? In space? This is really cool though. I like the colors for this one as well. A lot. I also like this one. Yeah, I think something changed, honestly. I'm gonna go back up and everything's gonna be different. Like that. Villains are back. Oh, it's night time now. So cool to me. I love that. But I just saw something in there. That's just so cool to me. There's melons over here. I feel like I'm having a fever dream at this point. So that's where this goes. I'm right back here. We can go through here now. And what I thought. What is this hole. Okay, we can't. That's super. Oh, I just. That makes me very uncomfortable. Did he play this in VR? Because I would love to see his reaction to that, if he walked on that.
This reminds me of something from my hometown, like a painting you'd see. Even though that's AI generated. People had paintings like that all over the place of just fields. Gives you the illusion of just walking on this when you probably don't need to. Every single room is so interesting. I feel like we're gonna end up loop like looping back to the very beginning. Eventually. This is and honestly I feel like this would be the only type of pool I'd chill out in. It's just really not that creepy to me. Like this, this is a nice room. I don't know why you'd want these seats, but this is kinda nice. Whoa. I love this. We can just go outside of it, that's cool. I, you know what, this one's my favorite. This might be a new background. That is such a cool visual. Love this. I should always look behind those, because... Never know. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit your wall. Okay, you know how I keep saying that I have like a favorite painting every single time? This one is my favorite. I just, I just like the contrast and just the lighting and the way that it looks. I love this one the most. This might be AI generated, but it's still super cool to me. That feels like a really boring waiting room. Here we got probably an SCP pyramid. No, I don't know. Are, are pyramids counted as SCPs in the SCP universe? Because if so, that makes sense. This really does feel like a really weird. This might be one of the most bizarre like spaces I've seen in a map. It's kind of cool though. But it feels like a movie set of some sort. Like the Matrix. I bet being on movie sets are just trippy. There's a doorway here I think. I want to go inside, but I also want to get to the top. This is nice. Unfinished rooms. Yeah, this definitely does feel like a movie set of some sort, actually. This is where they do, like... Casting or something. Oh, this is cool. I like the pictures of the sky. I like the lighting in that one. Very nice. Go in here, though. Use your warning. What the hell? I looked away for a second, I heard that noise, and I looked back, and that's what scared me, was myself. What, what's creepy is I heard a noise in real life, too, right before then. That just scared the crap out of me, and that was me. This room feels familiar. Is this from one of the liminal spaces? You know, it kind of looks like something from the Stanley Parable. These rooms feel, like, familiar. 
These might actually be part of the other map, actually. I don't know. But I have to go through this. I did not appreciate that jump scare. How did they get the textures that small? It's so cute. <laughs> is that weird to call it cute? A, a tiny little little space? That thing is back. To haunt me. Okay, yeah, I think I do remember this room. Just because of the design to it. You know, I these probably are the the rooms I'm playing in right now and I just don't know. Everything just kind of meshes together, I guess. I'm expecting another jump scare. You made me come all the way... Uh, you know what? It was worth it. This is a cool one. I just heard some really creepy noises outside, but, uh, this is a cool painting. I like that. I want all these paintings in my room, actually. I'm gonna have to print these out. Legally. Let's just get smaller, huh? That's kind of a cool little illusion. Can't fit in there. Not cool. I really thought this map would be like 10 minutes long or something, but I like it. I'm, I'm actually glad it's longer. The thing about playing liminal space maps though is that you don't know if this is a part of the map you're playing now or a map you've played earlier, like just seeing pictures of it, like I just don't know. There's some stuff that's very memorable. This, this is a part of the first one. Because I do remember walking up here and then looking down and being able to see everything. This led to like different rooms. But these are from the first one. Pretty sure. My life is like a video game. Okay. This reminds me of strange concretes as well, because there's strange concretes. There's a lot over here. Wait a minute. Complete the same area. Oh, good heavens. I don't want people to think that I'm making fun of this map at all. I love this. And now I feel like I'm lost. But I think we're in a loop right now. Or something. I don't know what's happening. I'm scared. I, I'm lost. I don't know where to go. Everything is changing. It really is, actually. No, wait. Is it... I can't tell. I'm scared. Where do I go? We're back in here. Sorry, I spoiled some of the map by flying up here. I'm looking. I didn't think this map was going to be this long. Oh, I don't like that. Feels like something is going to chase me through here. We got that same painting from earlier. <gasps> what the hell was that thing? No, I saw something there. It looked like a T-posing skeleton. I'm not crazy, I swear. There's something there. I'm I'm terrified of whatever that was. I swear I saw something. You can't tell me I didn't. 
It was not an illusion, it was real. I swear. I don't like that area at all. I don't want to be here again. This looks different though. Is it different? I don't know. I can't tell, I'm scared. I'm cold. Everything is meshing together. My brain doesn't understand any of this. I don't understand any of this. I'm scared, I'm cold. I'm bringing you with me. Don't despawn. I'm gonna bring this big piece with me. It makes me feel safe. I'm not even going to try to open these doors anymore. I know they're all locked. That is one of the most unsettling things I've seen in a Gary's mod map ever. And I hope that thing... No, my melon, my safety melon. I hope that thing doesn't come after me. I actually feel... It's funny, I feel more vulnerable without that melon. I don't even know why, it's like a stress ball. But I hope whatever that thing is, does not show up. Anytime soon. Oh, we're back here. Uh, how lovely. Okay. I feel like maybe that sky isn't real. I feel like maybe that's a lie. But I don't know. This pool looked a lot deeper from the reflections. I thought it curved down like that. See? But it's just from the weird roof that's here. Okay. I'm actually on edge right now. I just... I know that, that I saw something and I know that... I just... I don't feel safe anymore. <laughs> This is cool, but I would never I want out of that water. Oh, look at this. Lights that probably... I don't know. They all go to the same place, too. Here. Am I stuck here for eternity? That is a cool painting, though. But I feel as if... I'm just stuck down here now. May I come back up, please? Just getting up higher. Yes. I'm gonna have the no clip back up. That couldn't have been the end of the map, right? There's more. We've been there. Wait, did we go this way? I don't think so. Oh. We're back here, but it doesn't feel like we're back. Because I don't remember this. What? Okay, my brain is actually, like, genuinely in pain. Wait a minute. Okay, there's nothing up there. What if I fly up here? You should have put, like, a G-Man or something up there. We didn't go through here. 
This is the only door I think we haven't been through. Now we're in the back rooms. Great. Okay. I don't know if I want to be here. They're worshipping the librarian. How did the librarian end up getting this as his like profile picture? Always been kind of curious about that. Well, I haven't always. I've just been curious about it just now. You know, I like tunnels. I think tunnels are cool, but this is tunnel. This is a 3 out of 10. It looks uncomfortable. Very long to walk through. That actually looked like an exit, but I think that's just a melon at the end. Did it change? No, it didn't. I'm actually... It changed. Okay, where... Where do we go next? That thing is kind of creepy. I think we've looked everywhere. If I see some part of the map I haven't seen, then we'll do it, but well this this is uh we've been here we've been down here we've been in here, I don't think so. Very nice, very cozy, ten out of ten. I love colors. They could have put it like a G-Man on one of those. But uh... I think we've looked at everything, y'all. Been there. Been there, we've been there. I love this map. Wait a minute. How did I not think about that? Because there's a melon halfway through. How did I not think about going in there? Wait a minute. There we go. I didn't see what was over here, by the way. This is cool. I love the cow room. I feel like we might have been here. You know, I just have a feeling. I mean, obviously we've been here, but... Um... So where does this one go to? I didn't see by the way, it just... Goes to the cow room. Well... Where does this go to? Same thing... I'm very... Confused... I think? They both go... Oh, they both teleport at one point. Okay. Like they teleport around here or something. Yeah, see, I just got teleported. That's kind of cool. What's up here? Oh, wait, we've been up here. Um... I think we've looked at everything. That was like the most evil thing, by the way. Wait, where was that pyramid at, actually? Maybe there's something more to it.
Really buff. Okay, I think we looked at everything now. Um, if I miss something, let me know down below and tell me what I miss because I really like this map. And I think it's actually really cool and I love I love liminal space maps. <laughs> what happens if we fall from here then? No little Easter egg or anything? Kinda, you know, I hate to be that person, but I wish that there was more out of bound easter eggs with these liminal space kind of maps. I always think that's kinda interesting, like look at this. What is this? Oh, this is just an area that we walk through. Okay. Um... I gotta say though, I did like this. I, I wasn't creeped out at first, but the further we went, the more we did. The more creeped out I felt. This picture feels almost like related to this other picture actually. Cause that one was standing up and then where was that other one at? It was like underground. I don't really remember specifically where it was but I remember it was underground. I think that was supposed to be the end of the map was that melon. just don't remember where it was. I'm a failure. Here it is. See, this one looks like the same one, but it's just tipped over now and everyone is doomed. It really does look like it's moving up a little bit, but I think I'm crazy. But yeah, this looks like it's related to the same thing. It just tipped over. And everyone's gonna die now. Because the melon gods are... A little upset about it. Just a little though. But uh Yeah, seven you know what eight out of ten. Seven out of ten. Seven point five out of ten. I really liked it. Um you know eight eight out of ten. There's no complaints. Honestly. Uh I do feel kind of bad that I'm playing a librarian map, a map that wasn't even made for me, but I mean, I guess anybody could play it really. But uh, yeah, shout out to the librarian for having a cool fan base that makes maps. But this right here, that, oh, that's creepy, man. I don't, I don't know, reminds me of something from like a creepy pasta back in the day and like, I don't know, just just creepy, creepy. But uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. Be safe. Bye.